So today I'm going to do a small video on the XTool D1 laser. Um, basically, I built this little cart here, a um, little work stand for it. And what I want to do is when I go to line my projects up on here, I don't have the mat, I don't have a grid or anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically grid my tabletop. That way when I look down in here and I go to line my pieces up, I don't have to worry about trying to figure out where my alignment is. Um, so I'm literally going to grid the top of my paper or my uh, board here. I'm not going to put measurements on it because again, when you're going to line up your tool and stuff, you just put it where you need it. But just for fast alignment for my boards and stuff I put in here, um, that way I have some way to line some things up. So here's my tabletop all cleaned off. I'm not going to do anything elaborate, uh, nothing fancy. I'm basically going to make some horizontal vertical lines. That way when I have my laser sitting on top, I want to put a board in there to engrave it. I can just put the board in, line it up with the line, and then start engraving without having to do any measurements or just try to simplify my life a little bit. So as you can see, I gridded my table. Again, I'm not doing any numbers on here. Basically, it's just for me to align things and make sure they're straight in here. If you want to put numbers in here, you can number them, you can measure them out. Um, I just took it, divided it by half, kept dividing it by half until I ended up with the checkerboard, basically. So what I did on the front here is I made sure I measured out uh, the same distance on both sides. So I've got one and three quarters of my front leg. Sorry about that. One and three quarters of the front leg. So I'm going to mark my legs so when I pull the table off here, if I have to raise my legs, lower my legs, I can put the table back in the same spot every single time also. So as you can see, I just made a couple circles around the legs. Again, when I pick it up, move it. It's not 1,000% precise, but it's close enough that um, will work for most of my projects. If I'm going to do something super precise, I'll go ahead and remeasure it and stuff. If I don't ever pick it up though, I usually leave it on this. And then if I've got a piece I need to raise up, I've got another piece of um, wood that I'll slide under, which you saw earlier. I had a couple stacks of things under there. So I'll make a couple jigs out of some smaller material that I'm going to use with this. I'll just keep them underneath here in my shelf. So if I ever raise my material up, um, I'll have the same grid on here. I'll line my other board up with the grid below and then use grid on that board. So here's my finished product. I've got three pieces of half inch plywood. I gridded them out, gridded them out. Um, I can lay them on top of my bottom piece. That way I can line it up and keep my pieces straight and center. Again, nothing spectacular, nothing special. May give you some ideas. And again, you can number these out. You can put measurements on here. Uh, I just divided them out. You can make your own full grid if you wanted to. It's cheaper than buying one if you got a piece of plywood laying around. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Please click like, subscribe, leave a comment. I would appreciate it.